So we're in the back room, guys, um, and you're assigned to the back room. That's where you're assigned. You're not to leave your station. Um, once somebody assigns you to where you're going to be, back room, which corner you're going to be in, red or blue, you stay there. You stay put. You do not leave your area until uh, the fight is done. What you're going to be doing in the back room is, of course, inspecting of the hand wraps, inspecting of the gloves, um, making sure no uh, foreign objects, no foreign substances are, are being administered to the fighters, to the gloves, to the hand wraps, making sure there's no use of illegal drugs, il use of illegal substances in the back. We touched earlier a little bit on uh, the IV situation, on the, on the um, uh, intravenous use of any type of uh, vitamins, where uh, that's what we're looking for, guys. We're, we're there for the safety of the fighters and for the safety of the people around the fighters, okay? So not only are we there protecting the fighters and, and, and making sure they're safe, we're there making sure that the people around the fighters are safe as well. Sometimes coaches, corner men, coaches, um, they get out of hand. And, you know, they've got something to say. You know, we're there to ensure that either they get escorted out or they calm down, okay? Once again, we do not use any type of physical force. Just because we have a badge doesn't mean that we have the right to put our hands on these people. We ask them nicely. We ask them, can you please calm down or you'll be asked to leave. I usually just ask once. The second time I go get a security guard and have them escorted out. I think uh, one warning is fair. You know, if you don't want to respect what I'm doing, I'm not going to respect what you're doing, and I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? So I think one warning is, is, is fair, and uh, that's what I tell a lot of the fighters as well. When they come back and they're complaining about that they got disqualified because they, uh, they did something wrong in the ring, they, a low blow, and they come back and they say, I never got warned. And I ask them, were you at the rules meeting? And they say, yes, I was. I said, there was your warning. There was your warning. So, you know, you got to be, you got to actually talk to these guys correctly. You know, always keep calm. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty calm when I get out there and, and, and you know, there's situations that, that happen. You know, I'm, I'm pretty calm in the situations. And, and we want to make sure we're calm in the back at all times. It makes for a smooth running show. Okay? So... Like I say, your duties as inspectors in the back are just to make sure you control that dressing room area, make sure that everything is, uh, that has to do with the uh, compliance of the rules are being complied with, okay? We're gonna touch a little bit on the back room. Also in the back room, say you work in a corner and all of a sudden Mother Nature hits, find the inspector back there and say, hey, watch this, I gotta run to the bathroom. Uh, hey, I need to, you know, smoke a cigarette. Make sure somebody's always covering your station. Remember, when the fights first start, everybody's gonna have their own station. So try to take care of your business before the, the fight or in the wrapping start. Because then after one fight finishes, then you're gonna have two or one uh, freed corner man. Two, the more the fights go on, the more free corner man you're gonna have. And you're gonna have, you know, the ability to, no. Go take your break. Go, uh, uh, if you smoke, go smoke a cigarette. If you gotta go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom. If uh, you gotta make a phone call, go make a phone call. But I do, uh, I don't wanna see, what I don't wanna see is you on your cell phone, uh, reading your messages unless it's an emergency, okay? Because we're here to do our duty. I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the fire, what's going on? But you know what? I got my supervisors there sometime also, and they're saying, man, every time I saw that guy, he was on his phone. See, I gotta answer to that. So I ask you is either put it on silent, uh, check it just in case there's emergencies, but don't answer no phone calls. You know, tell the people, hey, I'm going to be busy from this time to this time. Or when you go on break, go make your phone call, okay? But I don't want to see no texting. And then a lot of people, I got them on Facebook, on Twitter and stuff. And I've noticed sometimes that I'll look at it the next day and during the fight with <laughs> you know, I see this and look, I'm here at the fight. Boom, boom. You know what? Put it on the next day, okay? Because there's a date stamp on it all. <laughs> okay, because it's just not me looking at it. Somebody else might look at it. And if they come up to me, they're going to ask me, what did you do about it? I, I want to say, I addressed the issue already. I don't want to get caught off guard, okay? So uh, 
that's that's part of the dressing room, okay? And even on the ringside. Ringside, I definitely don't want to see you on the phone. <laughs>